Hello! Today I'll be showing you some tips and features about the MyM Cert, My EMS Cert, and My Talk Cert modules. These modules are open book. They are approximately 50 questions each, and you can take them anywhere or anytime that is convenient for you, though you cannot share content or work with others. Before starting, I encourage you to try the MyM Cert demo module. Let's check it out. To get to this page, log into your ABEM portal. Click Certification, then Emergency Medicine Certification. Scroll down and choose Demo and Resuscitation Modules. Here is where you'll register for the module. Follow the prompts to do so. I've already done that and I'll click Launch Module. From here, request a two-factor authentication code via text or email. Enter the code you receive and submit it. If you're having issues getting to this step, go to Account account authentication, enter your phone number and email, and then this area should populate. From here, click Start Module. Now we will select the demo module, and I do want to mention that your total time will be four hours, the same as it will be for your regular modules, and it is best to complete the module in one sitting. Each module is broken into three sections. For my MCERT, those are core questions, core question sets, and key advances questions. For my EMS CERT, they will be knowledge reinforcement questions, systems and regulations questions, and knowledge advancement questions. For my talk CERT, the sections will be knowledge reinforcement questions and knowledge advancement questions. Let's click Start Module. From here, I encourage you to read the module overview and instructions at the beginning of each module, as well as the section instructions. Let's click Start Module. Now we are in the actual module, and there's several things I want to point out. First is the toolbox, where you can find common abbreviations and normal lab values. Next, questions may have supplemental materials, and if they do, you will click here to view them. There may be more than one, so note that in the tabs up here. And you can also zoom into stimuli by clicking and moving your mouse around. Next, I'll choose an answer and confirm it to move forward. I do want to mention these modules are forward progression only. You cannot return to answered questions or make changes. Once you do answer a question, you will get immediate feedback and rationales. This is the best time to pause a module if you need to. Answers that are not confirmed will be marked incorrect if you leave the module. Pause will be in the top right. I also want to note that if you are inactive for 15 minutes, you will receive a warning that the system will pause unless you take action by clicking a button. Only your confirmed answers will be saved if you time out. Once you continue to the key advancement section, take time to review the synopsis. This material is located in your module and it's also located on the ABEM website. I encourage you to view it before starting the module. Also note that these sections may or may not be related to the module topic. When taking your modules, try your best and finish them even if you know you cannot pass. You might learn something that helps you in a future version of the module. Here's the end screen. When you finish with a regular module, you will be given an immediate pass-fail decision based on the passing score. This demo will only show the percentage correct. For the demo, there is no scoring and it does not count towards your requirements. Make sure you stay on this end screen until your module has synced. This typically takes less than 10 seconds. You will know when that happens by the cloud icon on the top right having a check mark in it. If your end screen doesn't sync, you can use the help option in the top right under your account. Click help. You will have two choices. Click submit application data and resync. This is also where you can get help for issues with the module, including loading, syncing, closing the zoom bubble, or displaying stimuli by clicking refresh course data. You will also notice there's a reset test option. This is only for the demo module. You can take it as many times as you wish. 
Lastly, there are several more resources on the ABEM website that you have access to, including FAQs, study points, and key advanced synopses. Thank you.